Kryptonians come to the second dimension. However, due to the loss of the One Ring, Sauron's power was severely weakened. He could only transform into an eye and spy on Middle-earth every day. So far, Sauron was forced to become a dead house. Conquests and such can only be thought of for the time being. Although Sauron is a poor guy, he is at least a poor guy who was once awesome. People in Middle-earth all think that it is not a big deal for the eye of Sauron to look around everywhere. The privacy rights of people in Middle-earth have been destroyed, okay? And what if one day it comes back? So, when the missing one ring was obtained by the hobbit Frodo, the grey-robed wizard Gandalf, who was originally responsible for fighting Sauron and was also one of the mayor, appeared in front of him. He asked Frodo to take the ring to the territory of the elves, Rivendell. There, a group of people, elves, humans, and dwarves, held a meeting. Finally, it was decided that Frodo and his team would take the ring to Mount Doom, the place where the ring was made, and the only place in the legend that could destroy the ring and completely kill Sauron. Destroy the ring and completely eliminate Sauron, the hidden danger. They took on the task of entering Mordor and destroying the Supreme Ring. Because the Supreme Ring contains the power of Sauron, it will corrupt the soul and make the holder fall. Therefore, the innocent hobbit Frodo also became the only holder of the ring. Others are very likely to be affected by the ring and fall. In history, the only person who could truly resist the power of the ring and voluntarily give it up was Bilbo Baggins, who inherited the ring to his cousin Frodo. Now the ring is kept by Frodo. These people originally planned to cross the Misty Mountains. But because the original white wizard Saruman fell, he joined Sauron and cooperated with him. In order to stop the ring team, he used his power to cause a blizzard in the Misty Mountains and collapse the road. The Fellowship of the Ring can only return and find a way to Mordor again. Lucifer is very interested in the Supreme Ring, especially the special existence of the Ring Wraiths. The Three Rings of the Elves have the ability to control the elements, and the Nine Rings of Humans are immortal. Even if it is only the immortality of the movie version, not the original version, it is still very powerful. Maya from Other Worlds, what are you doing in this world? Gandalf asked Lucifer. Oh, nothing, I just came to travel. Lucifer was not interested in Gandalf and his group, but wanted to catch dragons, giant spiders, giant eagles, and giant wolves to study them. And by the way, kidnap Saruman, the technology expert. What a good Maya, studying technology, developing biotechnology, and improving the species of orcs. He and Kino should have a lot in common, one mysterious side, and the other, I think... Maybe he can help Lucifer mass-produce dragon-level monsters faster. So Lucifer left directly. The Fellowship of the Ring looked at each other, and then said nothing. They were going to change their route next. Lucifer flew towards a place called Isengard. It was a place abandoned by Gundor, and was turned into an important defense of the free lands in the west by the former white-robed wizard Saruman. Now Saruman has fallen, and he calls himself Saruman of the Colored Robe. Isengard is now naturally occupied by the new race created by Saruman, the orcs who are not afraid of the sun. Isengard is Saruman's lair, which is easy to defend and difficult to attack, and is occupied by a large number of orcs. It has become another evil place in Middle-earth after Mordor. It is naturally not a simple thing to enter such a place, and you need to pass many levels. The difficulty is not much lower than entering Mordor. However, the so-called difficulty is naturally only for the locals in Middle-earth. For Lucifer, this place is undefended. He cut through the sky and appeared near the tower of Isengard. This is Saruman's residence and his laboratory. Before Saruman could react and fight back, Lucifer landed on the tower of Isengard. All this happened so fast that Saruman's magical voice didn't even have time to sound. The surrounding anti-aircraft defenses which were really not very good, didn't have time to be used. The last time the power of the Wind King, the leader of the giant eagle Gandalf, escaped from Isengard, Saruman strengthened Isengard's defense against airstrikes. He was very confident that the next time a giant eagle flew over, it would definitely not leave as easily as last time. Unexpectedly, it was not a giant eagle that came this time, but a Kryptonian. Lucifer was able to find this place thanks to his supervision and super hearing. 
Now he can observe a large range, and the speed at which the super brain processes information is much faster than before. So he can fly straight here. The sound of the horn sounded from the tower of Isengard. The intruder landed on the tower in a swagger, and the whole of Isengard was shaken. If this gets out, where will Saruman's face be? Is Saruman here? Lucifer asked. Behind him, a huge feather arrow or crossbow arrow as thick as an adult's arm shot straight at him. Lucifer turned around and grabbed the arrow. Then he threw it back. As soon as the arrow left his hand, there was a loud bang, and the mock ring whizzed out, instantly separating hundreds of orcs and drawing a bloody line between them. Countless pieces of debris fell, and blood flowed like a river. A simple and powerful voice suddenly came from the tower. A simple syllable, not a special word. The sound of the horn stopped after the syllable, and the orcs who had started howling and preparing for battle gradually quieted down. About half a minute later, a gray-black-skinned orc came to Lucifer. The master invites you to come over. The orc growled and made an unclear sound, looking at Lucifer cruelly. He didn't know how Lucifer did it just now, but he was very strong. Lead the way. After Lucifer showed his strength a little, he knew that Saruman would definitely not sit still. Soon, the orcs took Lucifer to the room where Saruman was in the tower. Saruman was an old man with white hair and beard, holding a black wand with a round gem on the top. Compared with Gandalf, this man was tall, but he looked thin and his cheeks were a little sunken. His overall image is obviously more in line with the feeling of a normal wizard. Who are you? Saruman looked at Lucifer and asked his own question. Saruman is a very scientifically literate person. His technological level is also top-notch in Middle-earth. He not only created the orcs, he is also proficient in machinery and chemistry and invented explosives using fire and gravel. He can be regarded as a scientific pioneer in Middle-earth. If Saruman succeeds and eventually rules Middle-earth, he may be called Saruman the Great in the future. It doesn't matter who I am, Saruman. Are you willing to continue like this? Lucifer looked at Saruman and said, What's the meaning? Saruman had no idea what Lucifer was talking about. Middle Earth is not for you. Come with me, Lucifer said. After abducting Saruman, he still had to go see the Balrog. He didn't know how much experience he would get if he killed the Balrog. After all, it was also a type of Maya. Of course, it is also possible that after killing him, the big boss would personally kick him out as a walk-on. You're just a sidekick trying to steal Gon Tofu's role, so get out of here. Follow you? Saruman asked if he could speak clearly. So Lucifer confessed at this time that he came from a world outside Middle-earth and did not belong to the Vala. He could also be considered to be the Vala and Maya of other worlds. Only then did Saruman realize why Lucifer looked so unique. Vala and Maya from other worlds? Saruman could feel Lucifer's power, as powerful as a dragon's vitality and aura, especially the hand he just showed, catching the arrows coming from behind, and then counterattacking, killing hundreds of strong orcs. Compared with Sauron, Sauron is much weaker than this kind of power. What can you give me? Saruman asked meaningfully. I can give you whatever you want, your favorite research, even the Supreme Lord of the Rings. Lucifer said to Saruman. The One Ring? Saruman was a little surprised. Although he also liked the study, he liked the Supreme Lord of the Rings more. Then what do you need from me? Asked Saruman. Everything from you. I need your magic and your knowledge. And I need you to forge the One Ring for me. Lucifer found a way to make his death immortal. Which was to forge a new Supreme Lord of the Rings. A new Supreme Lord of the Rings with the three elven rings. The seven dwarf rings and the nine human rings as well as the capabilities of the Supreme Lord of the Rings. The three rings of elves, the seven rings of dwarves, and the nine rings of men. Together with the Supreme Lord of the Rings made by Sauron, they are all the Lord of the Rings in Middle-earth, forming a complete Lord of the Rings system. The seven rings of the dwarves had basically been taken back and destroyed by Sauron, while the nine rings of humans were in the hands of the nine ring spirits and became Sauron's tool to enslave them. The three elven rings are the water ring, Nanya, the air ring, Vilia, and the fire ring, Naya, in the hands of two elves and Gandalf, respectively. 
No matter which magic ring, it is difficult to obtain. As for their abilities and effects, the elves are immortal, flexible, not proud of their bodies, and dominate with magic. So there are three rings which give the power to manipulate the elements more easily. A dwarf who likes blacksmithing has a long lifespan and does not care about appearance. He has no magical talent. What he is given is strength, extremely powerful physical strength. Human beings pursue immortality, so the increase in strength is minimal. Human rings are also the easiest to wear. The most powerful thing about the ring is that it can lead a group of people. Wearing this ring means you are invincible within your tribe, basically. For foreign enemies, you still have to look at the rings of elves and dwarves. The human ones are more like those used to show off their cuteness. So the human race has the most rings, but it doesn't have the most increase in strength. The dwarves have seven, but the strength of a single one has increased to a terrifying degree. Although there are only three elves. However, the most powerful thing about elven magic is not its power, but its knowledge and skills. And these three rings can make up for their shortcomings. Therefore, humans and elves satisfy their desires and shortcomings respectively. Dwarves enhance their strongest point. The Nazgul are almost all humans. Dwarves and elves, although tempting, are not that tragic. The human race's ring provides immortality, but the increase is not large in order to stabilize the entire situation. That's impossible. After hearing Lucifer's words, Saruman said immediately. Saruman imitated the manufacturing process of the Lord of the Rings and made a ring for himself, which enhanced his power. But what Lucifer said was to forge a new Lord of the Rings. This is not something that can be done casually. The Lord of the Rings was made by Celebrimber, a famous craftsman among the elves, but he was from the second century and died in the hands of Sauron long ago. Now in the entire Middle-earth, there is only one person who knows the forging process of the Lord of the Rings. That is Sauron the Great Eye in the Tower of Barad-dûr in Mordor. I cannot forge the Lord of the Rings. I can only forge a ring that is close to the Lord of the Rings. Saruman said truthfully, his ring is comparable to the power of the three elven rings. Close, but only close and comparable. Not to mention forging the one ring that can rule all the rings. Talion, a human ranger. Lucifer said a name that was unfamiliar to Saruman. If he is still in Middle-earth, find his whereabouts. Don't you need the ring? Saruman asked. It's been made so clear. You still don't understand? Lucifer glanced at Saruman and said. Saruman's breathing became slightly faster. You mean... He can forge the ring? Celebrimber. Lucifer said, The forger of the ring. After being killed by Sauron, his soul did not die and possessed a dead ranger. The two had revenged Sauron. If you find them, it is equivalent to getting the forging method of the ring. Saruman's expression was a little frozen. He didn't expect Lucifer to throw out such important news lightly. How about it? I am very sincere. As long as you agree then I will take you away from this world. Lucifer said with a smile. It was difficult for Saruman to refuse his bargaining chip because he was ambitious, unlike Gandalf. I know, I will find the ranger as soon as possible. Saruman's eyes flickered. That was the supreme ring, but he didn't know that Lucifer planned to wholesale the supreme ring. At that time, by imitating Sauron's operation, he would inject his own consciousness and power into it to control those who wore the supreme ring. What is the supreme ring? What he has above is the emperor ring. Lucifer left without wasting time and brought back a few orcs for Kinos to study. Kinos was full of expectations for this creature that was said to come from the magical world and couldn't wait to study it after getting it. It might become very miserable. When Lucifer returned to the world of the Lord of the Rings, the orcs that Saruman sent out to find Talion had brought him back. I have found Talion and brought him back, but I can't make him speak. Saruman said when he saw Lucifer. Saruman himself is actually an expert inquirer. In addition to occupying Isengard, he even bewitched the ruler of another human kingdom, Rohan Theoden. He originally thought that as long as he found the ranger, it would be very easy to ask him about the method of making the ring. But Saruman forgot that Talion was already dead. The reason he survived is that he shared a body with another soul. The other soul, 
The original creator of the ring, the elf Celebrimber, was an old immortal who existed in the Second Age. He possessed Talion in the form of a soul and fought against Sauron with him. I don't know how many years have passed so far. It is too difficult for Sir Roman to pry open the mouth of such an old monster. The other party even had means of self-destruction, which made Sir Roman afraid to take extreme measures. So he could only imprison him and Talion temporarily. Lead the way, Lucifer said to Sir Roman. Sir Roman had no way, but that didn't mean he had no way. Sir Roman looked at Lucifer deeply and took him down the tower. The two walked down the stairs to the basement cell under the tower. Sir Roman once imprisoned Gandalf on the tower, just a small platform, with a biting cold wind, high altitude on all sides, and no way to go down. As a result, the Wind King took advantage of the opportunity and rescued Gandalf very easily. Now Sir Roman has learned his lesson and started to imprison people in underground cells to prevent them from escaping. Talion's hands and feet were tied with heavy chains, half kneeling on the ground. Hands raised high, showing a posture that was almost hanging. There were some wounds on his body and some blood on the ground. His head was lowered and his hair covered his face. It was hard to tell what he was like at the moment, but he had obviously been called by Saruman. Do you want revenge? Lucifer said to Talion, or rather, to the soul in his body. What? Talion immediately raised his head. I said, I will help you get revenge. As long as you help me forge the one ring, I will help you get revenge and kill Sauron. Lucifer said righteously. How can we believe you? The soul elf Celebrimber asked calmly. Sauron has lost the One Ring, and the Fellowship of the Ring is taking the One Ring to the volcano to completely destroy it. It will be very easy to kill Sauron at that time. Moreover, I am the Vala and Maya of other worlds, so there is no need to worry that I can't kill Sauron. Lucifer gave a convincing statement. What about Saruman? The elf Celebrimber was shaken, but still asked. He has become my subordinate. He will follow me to leave Middle Earth and go to other worlds. He is no longer a minion of Sauron. Lucifer said, I was never a minion of Sauron. Saruman said immediately. The elf Celebrimber ignored him. Then after you kill Sauron, I will help you forge the One Ring. No, I need you to forge the One Ring before I can kill Sauron. Do you understand? Lucifer shook his head and said. The elves Celebrimber and Talion were silent. I don't know if they were secretly discussing something. In the end, they agreed. The one ring I want needs to have the effects of the nine rings of humans, the three rings of elves, the seven rings of dwarves, and the one ring. Can you do it? Lucifer asked. Yes, but in this way, a lot of gold will be consumed, and the power of Sauron is needed to forge the one ring. In addition to Sauron's power, can you find a power as powerful as Sauron to forge it? The elf Celebrimber has actually mastered Sauron's method of making the ring and the one ring through exploration over the years. Lucifer's request is just to improve the technical level. No problem, just use my power. My power should be stronger than Sauron. Lucifer said seriously. The elf Celebrimber nodded. Since Lucifer said that he was the Vala and Maya from other worlds, he was probably stronger than Sauron. I just don't know if it's appropriate. And gold is even less of a problem for Lucifer. He will go back to the Marvel world and bring a lot of gold. These are all the gold from the shipwreck, and the amount is huge. The elf Celebrimber was also stunned. He didn't expect to see so much gold. The project of forging the Supreme Ring began soon. Saruman asked the strong orcs to assist. The elf Celebrimber gave instructions, and Lucifer was responsible for the transmission of power. In fact, Lucifer didn't know whether his pure physical strength could be considered as power, but it seemed that the elf Celebrimber said it could be used, so there was no problem. Consciousness, mind, spirit, soul, will, these things flowed into the ring along with the forging. In the end, a large amount of gold disappeared, and a shining, golden ring appeared. This is the supreme ring, the new supreme ring. The elf Celebrimber and Talion said breathlessly that although they didn't need to do the physical work, Guiding Lucifer's overpowering power was more troublesome and difficult than they had imagined. This was still the case with Lucifer's cooperation. It can make people immortal, invisible, or ethereal. Part of the body can enter the underworld to avoid attacks 
and will not be affected by the underworld. It also has the ability to strengthen the wearer's power. The elf Celebrimber continued. Lucifer put on the supreme ring, which made Saruman look forward to it. He really wanted a supreme ring. Lucifer could feel the supreme ring strengthening on him, but it was just average. Of course, it would be good to give Lucifer the ability to control elements. Who hasn't dreamed of having magic? I have memorized the specific process, Lucifer said to the elf, Celebrimber. As for killing Sauron, that's no problem. I'll bring the army to deal with Sauron's orc army, and then let Gandalf and his men march straight in. For Lucifer, the army naturally couldn't follow his orders, so he could only hand it over to the human emperor Strider to command. Anyway, he already had an invincible ghost army, not to mention an alien army, right? Afterwards, Lucifer took Saruman away from the world of the Lord of the Rings, leaving him to Kynos, who had a common language with him, and took the Supreme Ring to the world of slashing scarlet eyes. Cut off the red eyes. The Empire now controls a territory far beyond the original plot, has come into contact with island countries, and fights with the Western Kingdoms every day. Isteth sat and fiddled with a pen and boredom, because of her excessive desire to reproduce. Is death had a five million word life and death duel with Lucifer, a Kryptonian, and now she has entered a rational state. However, because these five million words are full of shocks and unforgettable life and death battles, Is death now has no interest in torture and torture. She has become very Buddhist. Maybe only Lucifer's return can make her happy, feel surprised and excited. It was the kind of excitement that only Lucifer could give her. It's death. Lucifer appeared outside, and Esther's eyes suddenly lit up. Elbow, come into the house with me. It's death grabbed Lucifer's hand and pulled him into the house. Wait, it's death, I have something serious to ask you. Lucifer was stunned for a moment, then reacted and spoke hurriedly, probably because he was afraid of hurting his death's fragile body and bones, so he didn't dare to take action. Business, who is the business? Ha! Huh. In just two sentences, Lucifer was confused. When he came to his senses, 30,000 words had passed. Of course, this is 30,000 words led by his death, and the 3 million words led by Lucifer have just begun. 3, 100, 10,000, word, is death. This is a belated ring that symbolizes our love. Wear it, and you will be immortal. Lucifer sat on the edge of the bed and said gently to his death, who was already a puddle of mud. Facts have proved that even though his death has been very strong, she is still not good enough in front of Lucifer. Not only will the biological force field make his death more and more sensitive, but it will also not make her dehydrated too seriously. After all, she is sensitive. If the temperature increases, it is easy to become dehydrated. His death raised his head with difficulty and saw the appearance of the Supreme Lord of the Rings. What does the ring represent? She didn't quite understand, so she rested her head on Lucifer's lap, forming a knee pillow. It represents the meaning of marriage. Lucifer thought for a while. In fact, he seemed to really not know the meaning of the ring. There seemed to be no tradition of rings in China. In the past, they were at most a pair of dragon and phoenix bracelets made of gold. By the way, should I use dragon and phoenix bracelets instead? Maybe the effect will be better than that of the Supreme Lord of the Rings. The Supreme Lord of the Rings is too small and certainly not as big as the Dragon and Phoenix Bracelet. Mary, is death thought thoughtfully. She naturally understood this, but she didn't expect that she would marry Lucifer, mainly because she didn't feel this way. For is death, the law of the jungle was conquered by Lucifer. It's a normal thing, love. She hasn't reached the stage of wanting love yet. But now, it is impossible for his death to leave Lucifer. She feels that she has been conquered by Lucifer. Lucifer then took his death to the Marvel world. There was no reason why he placed his death in the world of red eyes. It was just that Lucifer wanted to preserve his death as youth. It just went by so fast. This is your world, master. His death asked Lucifer thoughtfully after seeing the high-rise buildings and the endless desert outside. It is, but it is not my world. My world is still far away but I will go back one day, Lucifer said calmly, and then he heard a huge movement below. What's going on? Lucifer asked as death was startled. 
and then he saw a flash of light around him, and a 3D projection appeared in front of him and his death. Ten minutes ago, Dr. Genos and Dr. Saruman conducted research and successfully created a monster larger than a dragon. But the target cannot be contained. The Black Emperor replied calmly. Above dragon? Lucifer suddenly realized something. So he quickly headed to the laboratory, and his death naturally followed. Impossible. How could magic fail? Saruman thought hard. Even if the monster in front of him was about to be killed, all the beast soldiers who went to stop it were killed by it. Genos ran away and let the Black Emperor deal with it. Roar! The monster was like one-eyed Piccolo, and when he raised his hand, he released an energy wave, and the vibranium wall responsible for resisting it quickly disintegrated. Even Captain America's shield has an upper limit and can be chopped down by Thanos, let alone these walls that are just vibranium. Seeing that Saruman was about to be killed by the monster before he could escape, a figure blocked the monster. Vaccine human cells? Lucifer looked with interest at the weirdo who was knocked out by him, but was still intact. The research conducted by Genos and Saruman was very simple. They originally just wanted to restore Boros, but unexpectedly, after adding the cells of the vaccine man, they instantly created this monster, as if they were out of control. What's more, the reason why Kinos used Super Biceps King is because Kinos discovered that Super Biceps King is a very good nutrient solution. Ordinary clones naturally don't need Super Biceps, the king of head muscles, but it is needed to transform the living body and it will accelerate maturity. The huge energy was completely absorbed and the energy index instantly soared above the dragon level, which means it exceeded the dragon level standard. However, because there has never been a god level weirdo, the god level standard cannot be found. Otherwise, they can all be called god level weirdos. Mr. Lucifer, this weirdo's data is 19.9% .9 higher than Boros. Ginos also rushed over at this time and then said to Lucifer, Well, I feel it. After all, Lucifer had a head on confrontation with it, using the power to kill Boros, but the opponent remained intact. The cells of the Vaccine Man are still very good, but it's a pity that this is not the world of One Punch Man, and you will not be recognized by the will of the Earth. Lucifer looked at the weirdo opposite and said, It looks like a combination of Vaccine Man and Boros, except that Boros's hair is gone and replaced by Vaccine Man's head, and then Vaccine Man's face is gone and replaced by Boros's one eye and face. The ultimate suture is weird. Then Lucifer disappeared instantly, and when he reappeared, he caught the weirdo and teleported with him to the world of One Punch Man. Boom! The weirdo roared and punched Lucifer on the arm. The shock wave destroyed the valley behind Lucifer, and a huge crack opened on the ground, like the Great Rift Valley in East Africa. You've become stronger. Are you connected to the will of the earth so quickly? Lucifer joked that the gap between a 7th level Kryptonian and a 6th level Kryptonian is too big. They can be killed with one punch, and the 6th level Kryptonian is stronger than Boros. So the difference between Lucifer and this weirdo is the gap between them is still huge. Therefore, scientists are very powerful. They can create such powerful monsters in one go, and they can easily destroy the world. Lucifer was very happy at this time because he could just use this one-eyed vaccine man to test his upgraded power. The one-eyed vaccine man himself is a representative of the planet created according to the will of the Earth. After getting the theme material of Boros at this time, he quickly transformed into an evolution based on Boros, making Lucifer feel the speed at which the opponent is getting stronger the more he fights. Too fast. Although the vaccine man was constantly getting stronger and evolving, the speed was not so fast. The will of the earth, this kind of thing is really interesting. Lucifer was thinking about this issue while fighting. Unfortunately, it seems that only the world of One Punch Man has the concept of planet representatives, and it is impossible for Lucifer to go to the living planets in the universe to find those planet representatives for hunting. Not to mention that Boros may have already swept them away, and Lucifer has also, I don't have the ability to span this vast universe. Although his current flying speed is unimaginably fast, even the speed of light is too slow in this universe. It seems that you can use the will of the Earth for nothing. Every time you bring back a weirdo, 
with vaccine human cells. Let the will of the earth strengthen it, and then kill it yourself and recycle it. The one-eyed vaccine man attacks crazily, and Lucifer is always on the defensive, waiting for the one-eyed vaccine man to cross that threshold. When the time comes, he will directly kill the one-eyed vaccine man. However, just when Lucifer was concentrating on fighting the enemy, he suddenly felt something. He turned around and saw that a head had popped out from nowhere on the other side of the moon. God! No eyes or other organs could be seen in that head, but Lucifer could feel a great chill. A seventh-level Kryptonian still fears gods? Lucifer frowned. Gods can give power to others to become dragon-level monsters at will. No one knows how strong the gods are, but since the sacrifice has not been completed yet, then it shouldn't be that strong? Then Lucifer was distracted by a punch in the face by the one-eyed vaccine man. When he knocked the one-eyed vaccine man away, he looked back and saw that the god was gone. It seemed that the gods were just alarmed and had no idea about him. Or maybe it was because he was so strong that the gods were not sure of taking him down. After the one-eyed vaccine man crossed the threshold, Lucifer took him back to the Marvel world. Otherwise, in the One Punch Man world, it would be difficult to kill the one-eyed vaccine man unless Saitama took action. The vaccine man was immortal in the first place. Immortal? Endless energy. After killing the one-eyed vaccine man who was close to him, Lucifer saw that his experience points had increased a lot. You're back. His death still didn't know what Lucifer was doing. So he asked other people, and only the mechanical voice said that Lucifer went to other worlds to fight. His death was bored and wanted to follow him, but it turned out that only Lucifer himself had traveled through time. World capabilities. Well, how's it going? Lucifer asked with concern. He abandoned his death all at once because this level of battle was still too strong for her, so he didn't intend to let her participate. But about his death becomes stronger, Lucifer is already studying it. This place feels no different from my original world. I just want to be with you now, his death said immediately. Lucifer thought for a moment. He was not used to his death as clinginess. After all, he was single before and had no girlfriend or wife, so he naturally couldn't experience this feeling. Well, I'm just about to go and see the new world. If you're bored, just come with me, Lucifer then said. The world of Lord of the Rings has not continued. Lucifer has mastered the technology of the Supreme Lord of the Rings and can create the Supreme Lord of the Rings at any time. Saruman no longer needs Lucifer to give him the Supreme Lord of the Rings. He can create the Supreme Lord of the Rings himself. Of course, Saruman was not as powerful as Lucifer and Sauron, and the Supreme Lord of the Rings he finally built was still a half-finished product. And Lucifer thought about it and felt that the setting of the Nine Rings of Humanity was very good. In the future, the senior executives of the Umbrella Company would use the Lord of the Rings to strengthen it. The effect of the Nine Human Ring is enough for them to pay everything for it. As for the Seven Dwarf Ring, the pure physical strength bonus and immortality are due to the use of Lucifer's power. If it is forged, then the Seven Dwarf Ring will the holder can even fight the Hulk in hand-to-hand -hand combat. As for the Three Elven Rings, Lucifer has no interest in forging them. Set off. Lucifer hugged his death, and then the two of them disappeared. Endless desert. Where? Lucifer looked at the pale sky and earth in front of him, as if only monotonous white remained. Is this another world? His death looked at it curiously. If the Marvel Universe gave her little sense of reality, then this world now gave his death a clear sense of fragmentation. Come on, I heard some noise. Lucifer said to his death. Then he flew over with his death and then saw a group of creatures. This group of creatures looks strange, like animals, but has a black body, exposed bones, and wears a bone-like mask. It turns out it's Sue. Lucifer was a little surprised. He came to the world of the God of Death, and he was in the Hueco Mundo at the beginning. No wonder it seemed that there was only the color of pale. The pale world gave Lucifer the feeling that it was full of dust, and the wind blew and his whole body was covered with lime. His death saw Lucifer's eyes turn red, and the familiar hot sight killed the group of hollows fighting each other below. Lucifer didn't need to worry that he couldn't see the hollows and the god of death because he didn't conform to the setting of the world of the god of death. 
nor did he need his soul to leave his body. The default was the universal rule. Otherwise, tyrant cells would be useless in the world of Akame no Mizuki. Istef also saw these hollows. It seems that you have a way to become stronger. Lucifer said to Istef, got a Zampakuto, and then arranged for Istef to become a hollow, but I don't know if Istef can get Hyarimaru, the strongest Zampakuto of the ice and snow system. But it is also possible that Istef got other Zampakutos because she was an outsider. Although the bleach does not have the ability to explode a star, even so Suke, Aizen who is said to be able to evolve infinitely, the omniscient and omnipotent Yawach, and even the Soul King do not have it, but it is still much more powerful than the world of Akame no Kill. At least it should be able to explode a country or even a continent, right? Lucifer was very happy to slaughter those hollows in Hueco Mundo. And his death also experienced the interest of killing for the first time in a long time. Although her strength in Hueco Mundo was not that strong, maybe Achukas could compete with his death, or even defeat his death, but she couldn't stand Lucifer next to his death. That was completely feared by gods and ghosts. However, because the two of them are now quasi high intensity spirit particle aggregates, they are actually very attractive to these hollows. Lucifer, who didn't know how to go to Soul Society for the time being, could only kill these experience points that came to his door while looking for the Palace of the Night. Finding the Palace of the Night will know the timeline, but I don't know if Bylergan is the king of Hueco Mundo now. If not, it should be the time when Aizen Sosuke started the Erenkar experiment. As for Bylergan, before he became the king of Hueco Mundo? Are you kidding? How long ago was that? Because Hueco Mundo is very large. It is also difficult to find the Palace of the Night. Lucifer didn't know how many miscellaneous hollows, low-level hollows, or even big hollows he had killed. I have never seen an Achukas, let alone Vastod. There are only a few Vastods in the original plot. If we can't find that palace, can we not go to the Soul Society? That day, Lucifer and his death lit a bonfire, and his death asked while lying in Lucifer's arms. There is no way. I can't go there until my power is strong enough to break the space. The captured hollow can't speak, so I need at least the level of a Achukas. Lucifer said helplessly. When watching the anime, there were so many Achukas fighting each other to become vast odds. Why can't I see an Achukas now? Otherwise, I can threaten it to open the black cavity to the Soul Society by beating it. But at this time, Lucifer heard some noises. He looked back and found that several kilometers away, a shark-like hollow was fighting with a blonde woman, but the blonde woman was obviously defeated. Vastold, Lucifer stood up. It was not only Vastold, but also one of the future Ten Blades, Tia Haribel. And this scene looked familiar. Wasn't this the scene where Aizen Sosuke rescued the beauty and subdued Tia Haribel and her three subordinates? So it's at this time? Lucifer saw this scene and naturally couldn't ignore it. He came to fight monsters and Aizen Sosuke was naturally a good monster. Seeing that Tia Haribel was about to be killed by the former Yachukas, she was a little unbelievable. Bang! Suddenly, with a loud noise, Lucifer appeared in front of Tia Haribel, blocking the shark Yachukas, and by the way repelled Aizen Sosuke, who wanted to rescue the beauty. The opponent was punched by Lucifer and flew away to an unknown place. Ikamaru Jin's pupils shrank in the distance. Are you okay? Lucifer crushed the head of the shark Achuka's errand car casually, then turned around and said to Tia Hribble, You, are you the god of death? Tia Hribble looked at Lucifer in front of her and asked with mixed feelings, How could I be the god of death? I'm not wearing that kind of clothes. I don't have a death hater or a Zampakuto. Lucifer would not accept wearing a death hater. Anyway, he would not become a god of death. Wearing socks and clogs would be too stupid. He couldn't do it. Who are you? Tia Hribble asked. I'm here to travel in Hueco Mundo. Lucifer thought for a while and said, Hribble, at this time, Apache, Sun Sun, and Mira Ross, the three Achukas, protected Tia Hribble. This guy who looked like a god of death was very suspicious. However, after all, in the original plot, Aizen Sosuke, as a god of death, could subdue Tia Haribel, not to mention Lucifer. Lucifer, who intercepted Aizen Sosuke's careful plan, 
took Tia Haribel and others away to prevent Aizen Sosuke from coming back. Is this a chukas? Its death did not move from where she was. When she saw Lucifer coming back with a woman and three animals, her eyes turned to Tia Haribel. No, she is Vastod. Lucifer explained that there is a big difference between Vastod and Achukas. Tia Haribel saw his death and felt hostile for some reason. She is his death, my woman. She is a Vastod level hollow. The other three are Achukas, but I don't know their names yet. Lucifer introduced each other, and then Tia Haribel and Apache said their names. So, are we going to open the Black Chamber and go to Soul Society next? His death nodded, ignoring these things and said to Lucifer. Go to Soul Society? Tia Hellible asked puzzledly. Yes, Hellible, next, please help them open the Black Chamber to Soul Society. It's death, and I want to travel to Soul Society. Lucifer said to them, Soul Society is very dangerous. Tia Hellible said hesitantly. It doesn't matter. Lucifer shook his head. He just went there to get to Zampakuto. What's the danger? Of course, two is just a quantifier. If it works well, Lucifer might join the Zero Division and interrogate the bald man about how to forge Zampakoto and mass-produce it. Tia Haribel had no choice but to agree to open the Black Chamber. If a vast ode of her level went there, Soul Society would find out instantly. After all, Mayuri Kuratsuchi's Technology Development Bureau is not an easy task. By the way, is Mayuri Kuratsuchi now? Or is Kasuk Urahara still the director? Tia Haribel opened the black chamber, and after Lucifer observed carefully, he understood what to do. It was not that they were stronger than Lucifer, but that spiritual pressure was really something that could be manipulated, and Lucifer had no spiritual pressure. Perhaps he would have spiritual pressure after releasing his Zampakuto. I'm leaving. See you next time. Lucifer waved his hand, and then his death followed him into the black chamber. Next time, Tia Haribel wanted to go in with him but finally gave up. She didn't want to cause trouble for Lucifer. Hei Kong had to pass through the Dankai to go to Soul Society. A golden light suddenly appeared behind Lucifer and his death, and then a huge black monster rushed over. It's a Judo. Lucifer thought about it, but still didn't kill the Jutu in seconds. His death didn't know what it was, so she was eager to try. Let's go. That's something you can't deal with. Lucifer took his death away. Jutu couldn't get close to Lucifer no matter how hard he tried. Although he was walking leisurely, his speed was not slow at all. In this way, they passed the dank eye and reached the Soul Society. Is this the Soul Society? It does look very different from Hueco Mundo. His death looked around. Yes, there are big differences, Lucifer said calmly. Then he entered Rakongai. The core of the Soul Society in Bleach is the Soul Society, and outside the Soul Society, is the Rakongai. There are peaceful Rakongai, and there are also chaotic Rakongai like the Zaraki district where Kenpachi Zaraki is located. It is so chaotic that even the Zampakuto of the Bleach God can be robbed. Lucifer's purpose is just to get a Zampakuto for his death, so naturally he will not join the Soul Society or the Soul Society. Just rob one at random. The patrolling one seemed to be the Shinigami of the 10th Division. Lucifer saw Shinigami patrolling on Rakongai. This was only seen in the peaceful Rakongai area. It was mainly for the safety of the Shinigami's family members and to protect these Ryukon from being attacked by Hollows unless the Shinigami's family members were also Shinigami. They could not enter the Soul Society, except for the nobles. The so-called nobles were just kings, princes, generals, and ministers all have their own kind because in the world of Shinigami, bloodline was really valued and bloodline really had natural power. For example... The four nobles were like this, with a higher spiritual pressure than others, an ordinary Ryukon and Shinigami. Occasionally, there were a few extraordinary geniuses, but it was difficult to shake the rule of the aristocracy. Lucifer went up and knocked out several Shinigami, took away their Zampakuto, and then left openly. Not long after, these unlucky guys were discovered, but the loss of their Zampakuto did not attract much attention. At most, they might take longer than others to get their Zampakuto. Is this a Zampakuto? His death picked up one of the Zampakuto and swung it a few times. She couldn't feel any power at all. It was far worse than what she used before. This is just the initial shallow strike. It can't be called a Zampakuto. 
The shape and power of a real Zampakoto are based on the soul of the God of Death. The God of Death gets power by knowing the name of the Zampakoto given to him and having a spiritual dialogue with it. This is the Zampakoto. So troublesome? Is Death felt a little confused. Each Zampakoto has its own soul, thoughts, and personality. Don't think it is just a weapon. Lucifer shrugged. He didn't really understand the setting of Zampakoto. He only knew a little about the information about Zampakoto. In the 523rd chapter of the manga, Nemea Oetsa mentioned that all the members of the Godii 13 division, who had over 6,000 members, had temporarily loaned out their nameless Zampakoto during their time as students in the academy and were officially granted the nameless Zampakoto when they joined the team. All the Shinigami lived and ate with this Kasachi, and through accumulated training, they wrote the essence of their souls into the Kasachi and created their own Zampakoto. In the 540th chapter of the manga, Nemea Oetsa mentioned that the raw materials of Zampakoto were the same as the Hayaku made by Aizen Sosuke, which was formed by the fusion of the souls of many Shinigami. So, in theory, the source of the power of Zampakoto is the fused souls of those Shinigami. It sounds like the Soul Society is not a serious place, but it's not surprising, although they claim to be righteous and maintain order. Call my name. My name is... However, Lucifer had just put his hand on one of the Asachi and pulled it out when he heard a voice. Lucifer's pupils shrank. Then he put the Asachi back into the sheath as if nothing had happened. I didn't expect to be able to release Zampakoto right away. And it was this Zampakoto, but for the sake of safety, Lucifer would not release Zampakoto here if he didn't want to be discovered by the Quincy's of the Invisible Empire. His death fiddled with it for a long time without any response. Lucifer thought about it imitated Tia Harabel's behavior of opening the black cavity, and then waved his hand to tear out a black cavity. He just had spiritual pressure. Coupled with the terrible power of the Kryptonians, it was very simple to open the black cavity. Let's go. Lucifer took his death back to Hueco Mundo. Not long after, a man dressed as a Quincy appeared where they were, and the man glanced around. Black cavity, is it from Hueco Mundo? Lucifer and his death who returned to Hueco Mundo naturally would not appear in the original place. Lucifer still couldn't locate it. So how could he appear in the original place? But he was not interested in looking for Tia Harabel and the others. He would talk about it after Aizen Sosuke gave them the errand car. His death, let's start conquering the Zampakoto. Perhaps it will be easier to release it when fighting against the Hollows. Lucifer said to his death, Yes. His death also planned to try this Zampakoto. Anyway, as long as she fought with it and treated it as a human, she would be able to release it, right? As for Lucifer himself, he pulled out his Zampakoto after finding a group of hollows. Shatter, mirror flower, and water moon. His death saw the light, and then the group of hollows stood there motionless. Lucifer held his Zampakoto. Is that your Zampakoto? His death didn't feel any changes. Yes, this is my Zampakoto. The strongest illusion type Zampakoto, Kyokusha. The ability is complete hypnosis. Control the opponent's five senses so that the appearance, form, quality, touch, and even smell of a specific object are completely believed to be what the owner wants. Lucifer didn't expect that he would get the same Zampakoto as Aizen Sosuke. He had only heard of two Hirimaru before, but he didn't expect there were two Kyokusujetsu. I don't know if I can use it in front of Aizen Sosuke to completely hypnotize him. If it can, it will be interesting. After listening to Lucifer's words, his death felt that he seemed very powerful. Go. Lucifer used the ability of Kyoka Sujetsu to make the group of hollows ignore his existence and rush towards his death. Interesting, I'll try it too. His death pulled out the Shoto. With her combat skills and the Shoto weapon that was specifically designed to deal with hollows. Killing them was easy. If it was difficult to simply create ice to fight the enemy before, it was easy now. It seems that this group of hollows is no longer a problem for you. Then let's go to the Great Hollow Forest next. Lucifer said, Lucifer is usually a very homely person, and in fact he is very homely. If not necessary, he can stay at home all year round. So now Lucifer is living a very comfortable life. After he and his death found the Dax of Forest, his death started killing, and the ordinary Killian Daxa gave his death Dessa's pressure was just right, 
and Lucifer was able to see the transformation taking place in his death from the perspective of spiritual pressure. Finally, after his death killed the 100th Killian Daxu, she called out the name of her Zampakuto. The devil appears, the devil's essence. The shallow blow in his death's hand instantly turned into a thin sword, just like the sword of the peerless swordswoman. The surrounding temperature dropped at a speed visible to the naked eye. Lucifer was a little surprised. Did his death turn the power of the Taigu into the ability of the Zampakuto? Or is it the soul of Taigu? It's just a drop of Bing Feng's blood, so it probably has no soul at all. Everything is cold and cold. Then his death continued. So, the front is liberation language? Lucifer was startled. Well, the devil appears. The essence of the devil is the language of liberation. Her name is Sun Han Wanxiang. His death stroked her Zampa Kudo, feeling that it was so special for the first time. Even though she had already experienced the Taigu, the Zampa Kudo was a very novel experience and feeling for her. What is Sun Han Wanxiang's ability? Lucifer asked with interest, not knowing who was stronger between Sun Han Wanxiang and Hyrimaru. After all, his death had integrated the power of the Taigu into it. The place hit by will be frozen, and then it can be manipulated to form ice cubes of various shapes. Finally, there is the cold air. If the coldness exists, it will continue to release the cold air and finally turn everything around it into a world of ice and snow. His death said, There are even domain skills, but just the beginning of the solution has three abilities? Lucifer nodded. In any case, the development potential of the Sun Han Wanxiang Zampakuto is much greater than that of the Taigu. It may not be impossible for the swastika to freeze molecular motion and stop time and space. Lucifer was looking forward to going back to the world of Crimson Eyes, killing the Ice Phoenix and letting his death drink all its blood and eat all her flesh, and then go to the world of One Piece to chop down the blue pheasant and get the frozen fruit for him. If his death eats it, Will she be able to freeze time forever? It's strange. Aizen Soyasuk hasn't taken action yet. Lucifer was staying in the Daxa forest, and he had been paying attention to the Shia palace, but he didn't know if it was because of the influence of Aizen Sosuke, whom he punched away last time. Shia palace has been very good so far. Calm. There was no large-scale Shinigami transformation experiment and Aaron Carr like in the original plot, and neither Achiyuka's nor Killian had much movement. It is also possible that Soyasuk Aizen has completed the experiment, and it is his turn to conduct the virtualization experiment on the Shinigami. Lucifer plans to get the complete Benjiu, and then he can transform his death into a virtual and a god of death to improve her strength. And the transformation into a god of death and virtualization may allow his death to live for a long time. You see, each god of death has lived for thousands of years. Yamamoto, Jinryanaji, Shigekuni Yamamoto, was the first captain. And there is a very interesting bug here. That is, Kubo said before that the captain needs to be changed every once in a while. People. But Yamamoto Jinryu Seshigakuni has always been the commander-in-chief and has never changed. So every time the commander-in-chief needs to be changed, Yamamoto Jinryu Seshigakuni will destroy himself in the mirror. And I will be the new commander-in-chief. Team leader. Since Aizen can't come, let's go find him. Lucifer planned to visit Shia Palace and kill a few Aaron cars by the way. His experience points had increased a lot since coming to the Death God world, and they were almost as good as a large group of dragon-level monsters killed by him. The strength of Killian Daxu is almost the same as that of dragon-level monsters, because he can already use Virtual Flash. In terms of destructive power, it may be stronger than most dragon-level monsters, and it can be regarded as an enhanced version of the Wandering Emperor. As for the Killian Arankar, it is estimated that they all have combat power above dragons, and their destructive power may not be as good as... The Shinigami is really not good at destructive power. Ichigo Muzuki and Yusukur Aizen, the evolved body of Hondama, fought against each other, and then nothing happened. After climbing a mountain, Aizen Sosuke was very excited and proud. It can only be said that this may not be comparable to that of the Hokage. At least it is very easy and simple for the Kage level to defeat a mountain. Not to mention among the pirates. In order to deal with Green Pepper's collision, 
Iron Fist Garp had to level several mountains with his fists before dealing with Green Pepper. So it's really annoying. The battle between Judo Su and Ulquiora was obviously very good. And they exploded easily, but it didn't work when it came to Ichigo Mizuki and Aizen, the evolved form of Hondama. Chia Palace. Bailgang held his cheek with one hand and looked at the virtual beings below. No, all the Aaron cars. He didn't know why. Aizen Sosuke came back one day and then said that he had to go back to Soul Society if something happened. Don't contact him if anything happened here and wait until he comes back to talk and then left. Bailgang wished for this. He was already very dissatisfied with Aizen Soyasuk's behavior of forcing him to become his subordinate, let alone obeying him. Bail Gang has always been the king. Ah! Suddenly, screams came from the door. What happened? Bylergan looked at the door and then saw a man and a woman appear. The man's temperament was very similar to Aizen Sosuke, whom he hated, that kind of arrogant and arrogant feeling. He seemed to be looking at you, but in fact he was looking down on everyone. And the woman was trampling a Jillian Aaron car with the tip of a high-heeled shoe. Are the ten Espada Aaron cars not complete yet? Lucifer glanced at the hall, and after seeing that it was Bylergan sitting on the throne, he realized that Aizen Sosuke probably went back to the Soul Society. Bylergan, who had already turned into a human form, looked at the two with unkind eyes. The God of Death dared to come here? Bylergan said very unhappy. Thanks to Aizen Sosuke, he looked at all the God of Death even more unhappy. Oh! Then all the Aaron cars heard the man's interesting voice, as if he had found something interesting. The next moment, they saw the man appear on the throne at some point, and Bylergan. He was at the man's feet. How dare you say such a thing when you are so slow to react? Lucifer asked calmly, holding his cheek with one hand. Bilagan couldn't believe it. He didn't feel when Lucifer kicked him off the throne and sat on it himself. The detection nerves didn't react at all. Damn it. Byragon Rosenbaum tried to resist, but Lucifer's feet seemed to be motionless. He couldn't shake, and even the ground was not damaged. Under the effect of the biological force field, Lucifer could do whatever he wanted. Byragon Rosenbaum let alone struggle. Even if there was a piece of tofu under him, no matter how hard he tried, the tofu would not break. Seeing this situation, the other hollows immediately planned to help Byragon Rosenbaum. Their king had not yet returned to the blade, and the invincible decay ability had not yet been exerted, so there was still a possibility of turning defeat into victory. In this case, of course, these little brothers could not help but take risks. Your opponent is me. Is death swung the sword and stabbed in hollow, and the hollow immediately felt that the place where he was stabbed seemed to have lost consciousness, and then realized that it had turned into ice. That's right. It's not frozen, but turned into ice. Isdef also found out before that the ability effect that Sun Han Wanxiang told her was not right. The place injured by this sword will not freeze, but will turn into ice in an unscientific way. This will cause a bigger wound after the ice melts. This attack method is still very creepy, but only direct attack can have this effect, and making various ice attacks will not have this effect. The Aaron cars will naturally not let go of his death. The woman who blocked them. Gree air conditioner is not here. There are so few Aaron cars. It seems that Aizen Sosuke was scared away. Lucifer felt a little regretful. He was still thinking about whether he could see the normal now. Of course, for Lucifer, the girls in the world of Death God are not his cup of tea. So he has no thoughts in that regard. He didn't go to see Death God for the girls at the beginning but for the fashion value and style of Death God. Its death was in high spirits, and the cold and frosty world was like Akame's demon sword Murasame, or even more terrifying than Murasame, because it could turn living or dead things into ice cubes, which led to the rushing Aaron cars all lying flat soon. Seeing this, Bylergan Rosenbang returned to the sword without saying a word. It was obvious that the enemy was no longer something that could be easily dealt with. So what was he waiting for? Rotten. Skull Emperor. Bylergan Rosenbang read out the words of his liberation. After liberation, Bylergan Rosenbang wore a multi-layered crown on his head. His face and body turned into a skull. He wore boots. His whole body was covered with black flames. 
and there was a long silver chain from the corner of the crown, similar to the death chains of the traditional European death god image. Lucifer still did not move. Bilogan Luzenbang's decay and aging ability acted on his whole body. He had been using the aging ability before, but neither the ground nor Lucifer's feet seemed to be affected, so Bilogan Luzenbang chose to return to the blade. After returning to the blade, his power became stronger and his corruption ability became stronger, but Lucifer still did not move at all, and there was no reaction when stepping on his feet. Instead, some of his fallen subordinates were accidentally touched by the spreading decay power and aged to death without saying a word. It's useless. Your decay and aging ability can only take effect when it is touched, but with the force field, your ability is a joke. Lucifer said calmly, The decay and aging ability is very strong, and the restraint on everything is very strong, but can it restrain the magnetic field and gravitational field? The same is true for the biological force field. Lucifer only needs to use the biological force field to isolate Bilergen Luzenbang's ability. Seeing his invincible power lose its effect for the first time, Bilergen Luzenbang was in disbelief. His skull blew a sigh of death at Lucifer, and the concentrated breath of death was ignored by Lucifer like a breeze. Then after the breath of death dissipated, Lucifer's unscathed performance hit the morale of Bilergen Luzenbang and his men. Even the invincible breath of death couldn't deal with this god of death. Until now, the boss has been trampled underfoot. How strong is this god of death? Submit. Bilergen Luzenbang, you should have clearly experienced the so-called power. Lucifer said to Bilergen Luzenbang, but Bilergen Luzenbang is not the kind of guy who surrenders easily, and he doesn't want to compromise with Lucifer at all. Is that so? Then you can die. Lucifer exerted a little force, and Bilergen Luzenbang's head exploded. The other hollows were stunned. Lucifer had no intention of conquering Bilergen Rosenbahn. He was not Eisen Sosuke, who needed manpower. He was just a vast owed Aaron Carr. How could he really act so arrogantly? It just so happened that he had already become an Aaron Carr. And from the original plot, he could not perform the second stage of reincarnation, which was far inferior to Alquiora. He did not need to wait for him to become stronger, and he could directly kill him to gain experience points. The remaining Jillian Arankar and Yachuka's Arankar were all convinced. Since Aizen So Suke could conquer them, there was no reason why the more powerful Lucifer could not do it. And the first order Lucifer gave them was to drive all the hollows in Hueco Mundo to fight, so as to produce a large number of great hollows. Lord Lucifer, if you do this, it will affect the balance of Hueco Mundo. A Jillian Arankar said to Lucifer, It doesn't matter. When Hueco Mundo lacks hollows, the souls of the real world will automatically be added to Hueco Mundo. At that time, the number of wandering souls in soul society will decrease, and the number of new Shinigami will also decrease. On the contrary, we will increase our high-end combat power. Lucifer said, Hueco Mundo, soul society, and the real world are the worldviews of the Shinigami. The balance of the three worlds is maintained by each other, and maintained by the soul ace battery. New souls become humans in the real world and become whole after death. They either go to soul society, reincarnate, or become hollows and go to Hueco Mundo. Of course, there are other ways for those purified by the Shinigami, such as going to hell for heinous crimes. Lucifer thinks that Hueco Mundo is also a very profitable experience field, which is not worse than the world of One Punch Man at all and may be stronger in some aspects. For example, in the world of One Punch Man, no matter how many monsters there are and how frequently they appear, they will not be as full of hollows as in Hueco Mundo. Even the strength of the mixed hollows can be regarded as tiger-level monsters in the world of One Punch Man. After listening to Lucifer's words, these Aaron Carr felt that it seemed to make sense, so they no longer insisted on their own ideas. After all, it seemed that Lucifer had become the new king of Hueco Mundo. A group of Arankars performed their tasks very well. After all, the Achuka's Arankar can defeat a veteran Vastod level hollow like Tia Harabel, and the Killian Arankar can even drive the Achuka's hollows together. Then he watched them fight each other. Because there was no Hogyoku, most of these Achuka's could only die in attrition 
and no Vastode was born. Lucifer also knew that he couldn't expect Vastode to appear here. Aizen Sosuke ruled Hueco Mundo for so long, and only four Vastodes appeared. The other ten Espadas were just the Chuka's Aaron cars. Moreover, the first batch of ten Espadas were even Killian Aaron cars, and they were eliminated later and replaced by a Chuka's Aaron cars and Vastode Aaron cars. But now Aizen Sosuke was scared away by himself and returned to Soul Society. I don't know when he will come here again. Lucifer originally wanted to cooperate with him to create Hogyoku. The method of making the Hogyoku is very simple. After Urahara invented the Hogyoku, he found that the Hogyoku had a much higher spiritual pressure than the captain level after awakening. Before that, Aizen also made a Hogyoku and sacrificed tens of thousands of souls in Rukongai who had the potential to become elite Shinigami for it. In Bleach, it was first explained that the Hagyoku was invented by the former captain of the 12th Division, Urahara Kasuk, and was created based on absorbing a large number of hollows. Lucifer intends to try Urahara Kasuk's method, but he is not sure whether it will succeed. Although it can be seen from the fact that Aizen Sosuke accidentally extracted the fingertips of the Soul King from Ranjika Matsumoto's body, the formation of the Hagyoku does not require the parts of the Soul King but it is difficult to satisfy the Hagyoku. Of course, even if it is not satisfied, it doesn't matter. The Hagyoku has the ability to turn people into Shinigami and Hollows. After fusing the souls of hundreds of Achukas and thousands of Jillian Hollows, the Hagyoku was born. The third piece of Hagyoku is in my hand. If you snatch the one from Aizen Sosuke or Urahara Kasuk, it will be complete. Lucifer did not immediately turn his death into a Shinigami and then into a hollow. After all, she was his woman, and fortunately, there was no shortage of experimental subjects. The Aaron cars of the Palace of the Night of the Night originally thought that there was no benefit in obeying an external Shinigami like Lucifer. Aizen Sosuke at least gave them power, but they didn't expect that he seemed to have a Hogyoka now. What's going on? Is Hogyoka so common? Every Shinigami has one? Sarapalo Grands, the strongest Aaron car in the entire work appointed by Kubo, was not seen. However, there were still some surprises, such as the appearance of a new Vastode, which had not appeared in the original plot. It might be due to the influence of Lucifer's appearance. This Vastode also looks human, but it looks like a crocodile turned into a human. His spiritual pressure is very strong, but he is also very stubborn. He was beaten by Lucifer for a while before he obeyed. Then Lucifer gave him the name Rectin after he turned him into an Aaron car. Renekton, the desert butcher, is very suitable for him. During this period, Lucifer also brought Saruman and Genos from the Marvel world and asked them to study these hollows to see if they could find the possibility of mass producing Vastod. Saruman is okay. After all, he is a mysterious side, but Genos feels that he has no way to start. These are all soul bodies. Although they will bleed when injured, they have no cells and genes, and the way of evolution still relies on devouring each other, which is too primitive and backward. Saruman quickly accepted the setting and began to study with great interest. This kind of creature was something he had never seen before. Sure enough, it was right to follow Lucifer to leave his world. Without a big leader, Lucifer usually doesn't care about him. As long as he completes the things he has assigned, it's fine. Genos followed suit. Lucifer conducted experiments on hundreds of Achukas and finally transformed his death into a death god and a hollow. Because the Hogyoku can satisfy the desires of the mind, it can be transformed into a death god and a hollow as long as the person who holds it has the ability to achieve it. This ability refers not only to strength, but also to potential. Then Lucifer felt a burst of deep blue spiritual pressure. The strength of his death's spiritual pressure soon exceeded the captain level, alarming all the Aaron cars in the Kainyaka Palace. Then Lucifer made his death a hollow, and his death's spiritual pressure increased explosively again. She actually has the potential to become a vast ode. Lucifer clearly sensed this. If his death died and became a hollow, she could become a King Hollow at the level of Vastode. All the Aaron cars of the Kion Palace arrived here, 
and then they saw the unprecedented spiritual pressure surging out. Isteth wore a bone mask, and her long, dark blue hair fluttered. The spiritual pressure, surging out of her body, disintegrated the approaching Jillian Hollow. The spiritual pressure was so strong that it would automatically consume the approaching soul, like Koyate Stark. His death's strength can be said to have jumped three levels, but she quickly lifted the hollow. This feeling is really wonderful. His death's face was full of excitement, and then she found that her Morihan Wanxiang had become two. The Hogyoku can realize the thoughts or wishes of the mind, so now you are equivalent to a Shinigami captain and a vast old Aaron car combined into one. In terms of combat power, perhaps only Aizen Sosuke, Yamamoto Jinryusai Shigakuni, and the people of the Zero Division can match you. If Lucifer wants to give, of course he must give the bestest death. Even if it makes Benji you weak, it doesn't matter, anyway. He only needs to consume his soul to replenish it. Renekton originally looked down on the others, thinking that Lucifer was the biggest and second to him. But when he felt his death as spiritual pressure, which was so powerful that it stirred up the entire Hueco Mundo, he was shocked. Not to mention him, the same goes for other Aaron cars. They had fought against his death before and felt that his death as spiritual pressure was not strong. But the Zampakuto's ability was weird. If they had the ability, they would not use the Zampakuto. Even the Blade of No Return can take care of his death. Now, it feels like my body is about to collapse just by facing his death as spiritual pressure, which is very uncomfortable. What is the ability of the other knife? Lucifer asked his death with interest. If the Zampakuto on the death god side is Sunhan Wanxiang, what is the power of the seal behind the Wistad Arankar? Mahabatma, his death said a word that the Arankars couldn't understand, but Lucifer understood it instantly. Is it actually open like this? As soon as I returned to the sword, Mahapadama began, but it only lasted a few seconds. Isteth said, Isn't that the shortest return blade in history? Lucifer complained, Well, even if the duration is the shortest, it is still a time-freezing ultimate. Can it only be used once a day? Lucifer asked the Aaron cars to leave on their own, and then asked Isteth. No, it can be used once every hour, but if you can achieve the second stage return of the blade as you mentioned, it should be able to stop for a longer period of time and use it more times. Isteth thought for a moment and then said, Is that so? That's not bad. Anyway, you are now a Vastod level Daxu. The strength of the steel skin is very high. You don't have to worry about being injured. After returning to the sword, the injury will be fully recovered. Lucifer was very satisfied. Now Isteth shouldn't have to worry about dying of old age. However, something happened next, that is, someone broke into Shia Palace. Is the spiritual pressure you feel the same as you? This is a very lazy-looking uncle. He looked at his death and said, Kyarty Stark? Lucifer saw this Vastod Arankar that he sent to his door. This was Vastod's Arankar on his own. He just didn't know if it had split his soul. If not, it would be really worth looking forward to. It's very strong. The spiritual pressure emitted unconsciously is as strong as a monster. Isteth looked at Kiati Eyes Stark with some surprise and said, I don't want to fight you. Kiati Eyes Stark looked around and found that for some reason, the hollows around him didn't seem to be afraid of the spiritual pressure he exuded. Could it be that the hollows here were very strong? Isteth, it just so happens that your strength has greatly increased. Why not give it a try? Lucifer said to Isteth, Wait, I. Before Kiati I Stark could finish his words, Isteth drew his sword and slashed at him. In desperation, Kiati I Stark could only fight with his death. But the more he beat him, the more surprised he became because his death was more powerful than he imagined. This was the first time that Kiartai Stark encountered such a strong opponent. The previous hollows couldn't even get close, not to mention defeating him. And now, Kiati I Stark really feels that if he is not serious, he will definitely lose. It's rare for Vastod to break through on his own, is death. Lucifer said while holding his cheek and watching the two fight. Kiati I Stark had a speechless expression on his face. He wanted to admit defeat, but looking at his death as look, he definitely wouldn't accept it. Virtual flash! Is death stretched out a hand, and a dark blue to almost black flash of light roared out. 
The energy rainbow penetrated the Shia palace. Several Aaron cars were accidentally beaten to ashes by this flash of light. Kiati eyes starts pupil shrank and he ran away. Although he is an Aaron car on his own, he has not yet been transformed into an Aaron car by Benjiu, so he does not have his own return blade. Of course, even so, Kiati eyes starts virtual flash is also Wang Su's flash, not much different. It is AI, the intensity of his death is false flash, made Kiati eyes Stark realize that his death was not the companion he was looking for, but a being more powerful than him. I give up, Kiartai Stark said immediately and neatly, not wanting to continue the fight at all. The problem was that Lucifer did not shout to stop, and his death was unwilling to stop. After being chopped several times, Kiartai Stark had to counterattack. This steel skin and spiritual pressure are really powerful. Even his death can't cut it. Lucifer clicked his tongue and said, I don't know how Kiati I Stark was so easily broken and killed in the original plot. Could it be that Kubo forgot the setting of steel skin? After fooling around for a while, his death felt disgusted that Kiati I Stark was so lazy but so powerful. So he gave up the fight, and Kiati I Stark naturally surrendered to Lucifer. This guy just wants to find a companion, especially since he hasn't split his soul yet and feels very lonely. Just meeting this group of people who are not afraid of his spiritual pressure, Kiati I Stark doesn't want to leave. However, after knowing Lucifer, it was the king of Hueco Mundo. After his death was not as powerful as him, Kiati I Stark felt more at ease. Lucifer gave him an errand car, and then he became the tent blade and his death was naturally the 0 th blade. Currently, there are only three Vastod Aaron cars in the entire Void Palace. His death, Kiati I Stark, and Renekton. So Lucifer sent his men to look for Olquiora, Tia Hribble, and Neliel du Ochevink. After the Aaron car, Renekton, who wore a hairstyle like Nikaido Benimaru, expressed his dissatisfaction that Kiartai Stark was ranked higher than him. But Kiartai Stark didn't care saying that if Renekton wanted, he could directly make way for Renekton. Uncle Bastard, who asked you to give in? Renekton was very angry. His ability was not the same thunder and lightning as Nikaido Benimaru, but the ability to control wind like Gonitz. However, he did not use storms and tornadoes, but wind blades. You can release the wind blade with just a wave of your hand. And it's not an ordinary wind blade— it's similar to Hawkeye Myhawk's slashing wind blade that can split mountains and seas. Renekton took action against Kyartai Stark without saying a word. 108 troubled winds. Hundreds of wind blade slashes flew towards Kiati I Stark. Kiati I Stark was originally amazed that his death and Lucifer were stronger than him, but now he found that Renekton seemed to be no better than him. How much weaker it really pleased Kyartai Stark. Of course, after he breaks through the surface, his powerful spiritual pressure will not hurt others unless he chooses to return to the sword. Kyartai Stark easily dodged Renekton's wind blade slash, and his strength after breaking through the surface has improved a lot. The two sides fought fiercely, and Shia Palace was demolished on a daily basis, but it didn't matter. After they finished fighting, Lucifer would send someone to urge them to repair Shia Palace themselves, so that they could realize that fighting could not be fought in Shia Palace. Renekton was naturally no match for Kiarty Stark, but he refused to give up. Tear him apart, King Crocodile. Renekton chose to return to the sword. Kiarty Stark suddenly felt that Renekton's spiritual pressure surged to a terrifying level, and then his whole body was covered with bone. His right hand was like a crocodile tail, but it went straight down with a sharp edge. A jagged weapon on the other side. Wind injury. Renekton waved the strange weapon in his right hand, and suddenly a wind blade spread out in a fan shape. Kyartai Stark's pupil shrank, and he released a large number of false flashes to try to crush the blow. Kiati I Stark, in the original plot, felt lonely because he was too powerful. In the end, he chose to split his soul in order to prevent himself from enduring loneliness. Of course, the situation is different now. He had not experienced loneliness for long before he met Lucifer and his death. Now he saw Renekton, who was similar in strength to himself. Kiarty Stark felt unprecedented passion and passion. Power. As a result, 
Cracks and changes appeared in his lazy character. Boom! The terrifying blue spiritual pressure swept out, and the dust and all tiny objects on the ground were crushed and turned into powder. For other errand cars, and even Daksu, it seemed as if there was an invisible weight in the world, making them unable to move even an inch. He could only look at Kiadi Stark tremblingly. This guy. Renekton didn't expect Kiadi Stark to hide so much. Virtual Flash. Kiadi Stark's false flash was released from his chest, with almost no preparatory movements. However, its speed and power are superior to other Aaron cars. After Renekton's wind wound met Kiartai Stark's false flash, the confrontation was broken in less than a second, and he continued to move forward. After all, Renekton's strength before returning to the sword was not much weaker than that of Kyartai Stark, who has not yet returned to the sword, and he has now returned to the sword. The corners of Kiati Eye Stark's mouth rose, and he began to get excited. Go after him, wolves! Then he also chose to return to the sword, and the vast sea of spiritual pressure overwhelmed everything. The invisible spiritual pressure caused most of the casualties of ordinary hollows and great hollows. This is the complete Kwiatii Stark. Lucifer didn't expect to be so strong. Although it was still nothing to him, it should be much stronger than the original plot, because he was complete. Are these two guys really showing off? Is death used spiritual pressure to block the incoming shock wave and the dangerous spiritual pressure that escaped? Lucifer sat on the throne and watched the battle unmoved. Unlimited reloading of false flash. Kiati I Stark held both guns in his hands and fired a large number of blue false flashes in the direction of Renekton and Windwound. The intensity of each false flash was higher than the false flash before he returned to the sword. In addition, at this frequency, Kiati I Stark can be called the Aaron Car with the strongest firepower output. Boom, 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 boom. This time, Windwound was defeated by infinite reloading false flash, and Renekton was also hit by artillery fire. This terrifying blow spread to the horizon. Kiati I Stark didn't know how many false flashes he output. What he saw would be everything was raised to the ground. 108 troubled winds. Renekton's voice appeared, and then countless wind blades clashed with infinite reloading flashes, causing an even greater commotion like the earth was shattering. Seeing that Renekton still had the ability to resist, Kyartai Stark used his ultimate move without saying a word. Go after him, wolves! Kyartai Stark's strongest move is to split his soul into many pieces. Each piece can be transformed into a ferocious wolf. Each wolf is an independent weapon like its compatriots. It will explode after biting the enemy. Moreover, when the wolves encounter physical attacks, they will pass through physical attacks like flames, just like wolf-shaped missiles. The warheads of those wolves are Kiati I Starks. The disadvantage is that the number is not infinite, and Lily Knight will disappear after all the wolves explode. But now there is naturally no such shortcoming. Kiati I Stark is complete, so these wolves are the strongest, and their number is much larger than in the original plot. Oh, this move seems very interesting. Isdeth's eyes lit up, as if he was inspired. Don't imitate him, Lucifer said to Isdeth. Why? Isdeth was puzzled. He's a fool. Lucifer said matter-of-factly. Split souls can be easily weakened by others, not to mention that in the original plot he also weakened himself. He is as stupid as the strongest Aaron Carr. So if his death were to be like the two of them, she might become weak. This is good now. Although there is the shortest return in history, returning to the edge means victory. Even if time is stopped for only a few seconds, it is enough for his death to complete hundreds of attacks now. It is a complete victory. Boom, 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 boom. Renekton had just flown out of the bombardment of the infinite reload flash and was met by a large group of wolves. He waved the crocodile tail on his right arm to try to stop these wolves, but they turned into flames and passed through the crocodile tail. Then it bit Renekton's body, and then his body lit up and exploded. The entire Shia palace collapsed due to the vibration of the explosion. It can be seen that the explosion speed of the wolves of Kiati I Stark is even more ridiculous than that of metal nitrogen. 
The explosion speed refers to the energy release speed of the explosion. The shock wave generated by the supersonic detonation can even cause a group of explosives to explode. His face couldn't bear it, and Renekton, who was at the center of the explosion, roared. That hurt. It's interesting, but I don't know how powerful it is. Lucifer was able to observe the explosion of the wolves, but strangely the range was not as large as a nuclear bomb, and its power was almost as powerful as a nuclear bomb. Naturally, Renekton would not give up so easily. Even if he was blown up by a pack of wolves, the tough-headed boy would never give up. What's more, he also has a big move. Penetrate him, kamikaze. Renekton's whole body was whistling with wind, and then it was wrapped around the crocodile tail slash. He held the crocodile tail slash in his right hand with his left hand and aimed it at Koyate Stark. Then there was a flash of green light, and the crocodile tail slash broke away from Renekton's hand, whistling away, and flew towards Koyate Stark at a terrifying speed that exceeded the speed of sound. The mock ring sonic boom cloud behind him spread and spread. Koyate Stark felt the power of this attack, but he was not in a hurry. If it was supersonic, he could still dodge it. Ring. In an instant, Koyate Stark disappeared, and Renekton's ultimate move missed, but it also destroyed an entire piece of land. Then Renekton's hand flashed with light, and the crocodile tail slash returned to his right hand. He didn't expect Koyate Stark to be able to dodge his kamikaze crocodile tail slash. This attack could shoot the heavy crocodile tail slash at supersonic speed like a cannonball, and the destructive power and power were naturally very strong. Sound turn? Recton thought of this possibility, and then there was a click behind him, and he dodged a flash with his head tilted. Good reaction speed? Coit Stark teased, although it would not matter if he didn't dodge and got hit. Recton turned around and slashed, and the huge wind blade passed through Coit Stark. Another sound turn. Recton was a little annoyed. Recton forced Koyate Stark to return to the sword. And then it became a scene where Renekton was suppressed by Koyate Stark. Not long after, Renekton was seriously injured and unconscious, and the battle came to an end. The result afterwards was that Renekton and Koyate Stark were punished by Lucifer to rebuild the Palace of the Night. Lucifer wanted to change his style, and Renekton could not accept it. He felt that other punishments were fine, but this reconstruction was not. Koyate Stark did not say anything and simply accepted the punishment, even though the one who caused the trouble was actually Renekton. Seeing that Koyate Stark obeyed the order so quickly, Renekton had to choose to rebuild the Palace of the Night with a curse. Like a rebellious teenager, Lucifer shook his head, feeling as if he saw Chris with the hairstyle of Nikaido Benimaru, but only in appearance. His personality was not like that, full of wild and unrestrained character like the wind, and did not want to be constrained. Lucifer, I feel like I've become much stronger. His death sat on Lucifer's lap. How could she think she was strong just because she made a little progress? How dare she challenge him? Lucifer looked unkind and decided to teach his death a lesson, to let her know how ridiculous and insignificant her progress was. Three million, ten thousand words. There is a saying, two young swallows fly and the orioles sing, and hundreds of flowers shine in the boudoir. The clouds and rain of Wushan and Luochuan are the gods, and the pearl loops and fragrant wastes are stable and fit. However, after the fierce battle, its death was still defeated. It was not much better than before. In the following days, after the collapse of the Kion Palace many times, it was barely rebuilt. Then Lucifer's men found Alquiora Cipher, Tia Hribble, and Neliel du Otisubek. But the strongest Erenkar in the original plot could not be found and Galu was not found either, and no Wu and others seemed to be missing. Lucifer wondered if he had accidentally merged into the Hagyoku. After all, the Hagyoku that was created by the fusion absorbed the souls of hundreds of Achuka's level hollows. Maybe that was the case. Of course, if they merged, then they merged. Anyway, Lucifer didn't like some of the ten Espada Arancars. Tia Haribel didn't expect to see Lucifer again. He had become the king of Hueco Mundo. The original king of Hueco Mundo, Bilergen, was said to have been killed by Lucifer because he refused to submit. Lucifer nodded to Tia Haribel and then used the Hugyoku to make them all Arancars. 
Nellyol Du Odyssey Vank and Alquiora Cipher had no objection to submitting to Lucifer. It would be better to say that Alquiora Cipher was similar to Koyate Stark. They were both people who longed for companions, and they were also self made, vast owed Aaron Cars. Nellyol Du Odysseyvank is different from them. She surrendered because of the power of Lucifer and the power of the Hueco Mundo. There is no concept of time in Hueco Mundo. It was unknown how long it took Sarumin and Genos to produce a little bit of results. They think that the Great Hollows at the level of Achukas actually have the potential to evolve into Great Hollows at the level of Vastode, but they just lack a strong enough soul, so they can be supplemented. This method sounds very similar to Aizenso Suke's artificial Vastode Hollow White. Hollow White is the product of Aizen's hollowization experiment. He is a hollow, transformed from the soul of a dead god of death. He has great power and is at the level of Vastode. He fought with Kurosaki Ishin decades ago and suppressed Ishin. The reason is that Kurosaki Ishin was injured by Aizen from behind and could not use Bankai. But he was defeated by Kurosaki Masaki, who rushed to him later. Before dying, he chose to self-destruct and invaded Masaki's body with his power. Afterwards, Kurosaki Masaki's body came out of the hollow cave. With the help of Urahara Kasuk, Masaki's body recovered. Actually, the power of hollow white still remained, and gave birth to Kurosaki Ichigo with Kurosaki Ishin. Ichigo was born with the power of Quincy, Shinigami, and hollow white. Hollow white is not Shiro Ichigo, and is called the weakest vast hold in history, which shows that Aizen Sosuke's experiment failed. However, Surumin and Genos also heard about this case from Lucifer before, so they thought that maybe they could combine Hollows and Shinigami to transform Hollows with the potential to evolve into vast hold Great Hollows. It is also very simple to capture Shinigami. For Hollows, they can sneak into Soul Society and the real world. I don't know what happened in Soul Society. Recently, many Shinigami have disappeared, including the Shinigami who disappeared during Aizen Sosuke's hollowization experiment, and the Shinigami who were captured by Sarumin and others for experiments. It suddenly made a big fuss, alarming the entire Soul Society. If it was just ordinary Ryukon that were missing, it would be fine, but this was a Shinigami. Shinigami can be said to be one in a hundred Ryukon, and they belong to the elite troops of Soul Society, just like modern armies, regular troops. If a few of them are missing, they will be investigated, let alone hundreds of missing? There are less than 10,000 Shinigami in Soul Society. Aizen Sosuke has no idea what's going on. Although his hollowification experiment was conducted on Shinigami, there were no such rampant attacks. Isn't it because he thinks he is not exposed fast enough? Now that Soul Society is blocked, Yamamoto Jinryusai Shigakuni personally ordered a strict investigation. Aizen Sosuke is very afraid of Yamamoto Jinryusai Shigakuni. He doesn't have the capital to compete with Yamamoto Jinryusai Shigakuni yet, so he can only execute his plan in advance. So the Masked Corps rebelled, and Urahara Kasuk and Shifinjuin Yuruchi also defected. The blockade of Soul Society did not affect the continued disappearance of the Shinigami. Lucifer actually thought about whether the Hogyoku could break the problem that most of the Achukas could not evolve into vast old. But the Hogyoka could not do this. Thinking of the original plot, Aizen Sosuke had the Hogyoku for so long. If he could do it, he would definitely do it. It is impossible not to do it. In the early stage, Aizen Sosuke still lacked combat power. But this does not conform to what Aizen Sosuke said, that the Hogyoku can realize what the mind wants, unless it is a complete Hogyoku that can do such a thing. Thinking of this, Lucifer wanted to get the Hogyoku of Aizen Sosuke or Urahara Kasuk more and more, but Aizen Sosuke's Hogyoku would probably carry it with him, so it is impossible to get it. Lucifer is not unable to kill Aizen Sosuke, but he is just worried that Aizen Sosuke will hide the Hogyoku. As for Urahara Kasuk, he knew that the Hogyoku would be hidden in Rukia Kachiki's body, so he could just go and take it when the time comes.